Harley Davidson opened its Middle East and North Africa headquarters in Dubai. The region is of significant importance to the company. The Middle East and North Africa have shown significant growth over the over the last 20 years really. That's how long we've had dealers in the region. The first dealer here in Dubai opened I think in 1989 already. Um, and we've we've sustained that significant growth year on year to the point where we've decided to invest in a local team for the region, based here in Dubai, obviously, uh, logistically, to serve the region as best as possible, it made more sense to be in Dubai. Um, Dubai and the UAE, to answer that question, is a very important partner for us. We're very proud of what our partners have achieved in Dubai over the last uh, two decades, and we look forward to more significant growth as our partners invest in more dealerships. There's a dealership that will be opening early next year in Deira, um, they're also planning a dealership for Fujera. Um, they're building a flagship dealership in Abu Dhabi, which will open in quarter two next year. And then everybody knows the orange building on Sheikh Zayed Road has become synonymous with, with, with Harley Davidson. There are many new products and events planned for the region in the near future. We consistently invest in events. Um, we've just come back last week from one of the best motorcycle rides I've ever enjoyed, which was in Beirut. That's now becoming an annual event. Next year we'll host the first uh, Harley Davidson Middle East Bike Week uh, in Beirut, where all the customers in the region will travel to Beirut to enjoy riding the motorcycles together in the mountains and having fun together. Um, so we've got many things planned. We are also um, involved with, with local events where, where we feel there's a synergy with the brand. I think the upcoming Metallica concert in Abu Dhabi is one where we will have a presence and where we will allow people to enjoy uh, riding a Harley Davidson on a, a, a machine we call the Jump Start. So people are welcome if you're going to attend the Metallica concert. We'll be there at the entrance. Please come and enjoy uh, a test ride on the Harley Davidson. Now with the headquarters in Dubai, the company is looking at more expansion plans in the region, especially in the countries where they don't have a presence. In countries like uh, Egypt, um, we are looking at, at growth opportunities towards Alexandria, perhaps towards Sharm el Sheikh. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are countries that we are not having representation in at the moment, places like Iraq, places like Pakistan. And, and all of those are on the radar, we're looking into them, we, we're trying to find opportunities. Um, and people are, are asking us to, to, to do that a little bit quicker than, than perhaps is possible for us. Um, so it, it's coming across the region, there will be more stores, there will be more doors where people can travel shorter distances to, to experience them. Harley Davidson aims to create awareness about their competitive pricing and other initiatives within the region. Here in Dubai, for instance, you can own a Harley Davidson and live the dream with us for, I think, starting at around 34,000 dirham, which is a lot more affordable than, than people realize. And then the ladies of Harley in the Middle East is a, is a very significant growth point for us. We've seen great interest uh, from ladies across the region. Um, the ride we just had in Beirut had a, a significant contingent of ladies riding with us. Um, and I made the statement there to the ladies that I think we've got the best ladies of Harley probably in the world. Um, so that's a significant uh, growth opportunity for us as a brand. I'm at the Harley Davidson Middle East and North Africa headquarters and sitting on the Sportster 48. It is a stunning office with branding and some lovely photographs and of course some bikes to even try on. Vitika, Dubai dates, Dubai.